Councilman Ray Saldana says he won't run for mayor. A new report slams Harlandale ISD leaders. And Rudy Gay thrives after getting his career back. This is your Express Briefing podcast for Wednesday, December 19th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts. And get each day's top news and sports headlines delivered to your inbox at expressnews.com slash newsletters. Despite being long seen as a potential mayoral candidate in 2019, term-limited city councilman Ray Saldana says he will not seek the position. While speculation increased in the wake of city manager Cheryl Scully's announcement that she's retiring and was further fueled by a high-profile political fundraiser Saldana held last week, the outgoing Southwest Side councilman said Monday he needs a break after eight years serving the city. When elected in 2011 at the age of 24, Saldana was the council's youngest member, and when he departs in a few months, he'll still be the youngest at 32. The Stanford University graduate says he's now going to work for Raise Your Hand Texas, an education nonprofit founded by Charles Butt. With plans to work part-time until his council term ends in May or June, depending on if there's a runoff for the District 4 seat. While he says he's ruled out a 2019 mayoral race that could pit Councilman Greg Brockhouse against incumbent Mayor Ron Nirenberg. Saldana notes he might come back and seek the mayor's office in future years. A preliminary report of a lengthy Texas Education Agency investigation recommends that the Harlandale Independent School District's Board of Trustees should be removed and replaced by a state-appointed Board of Managers. Monday, the board discussed the report's findings that harshly criticized district financial practices, called its governance dysfunctional, and recommended lowering its accreditation. While the document has not been publicly released, it has circulated on the cell phones of district insiders, and according to copies obtained by two individuals who are not its original recipients, both the district's trustees and superintendent may have committed crimes and actions involving contracting, procurement, and secret meetings. If the report's recommendations for a state takeover of the district survive review, Monday's meeting might be the board's last. Similar investigations preceded 2016 state takeovers of the boards of the Southside and Edgewood ISDs. TEA officials launched the investigation in August 2017, claiming it was in response to complaints about governance, contract procurement, and alleged nepotism and conflict of interest. And midway through the first quarter of the Spurs' carnival romp over Philadelphia on Monday, Rudy Gay flew through the lane and rose for a tomahawk slam. The AT&T Center erupted and the Spurs bench jumped to its feet, an occurrence that isn't uncommon for Gay, as this season he leads Spurs dunks with 13. But only two years ago, Gay found his professional career on life support after ripping apart his Achilles tendon while playing for Sacramento, knowing at the time that the track record for players overcoming an Achilles injury is not encouraging. But now, in his second season with the Spurs, Gay has emerged as perhaps the team's most important role player, averaging 14.3 points and 6.8 rebounds, while shooting 45.8% from three-point range, a 10% increase over his career mark from downtown. In his own words, Gay says he's blessed to be able to say he came out on the other side of what has been a devastating injury for so many other NBA players. And that's your daily San Antonio Express briefing for Wednesday, December 19th. Subscribe to this and other free content at expressnews.com slash podcasts.